my YouTube. This is very random, isn't it? I just, there is literally no particular reason to this. I just decided that I wanted to pick up the camera and vlog today. So that's what we're doing. Uh, so welcome, <laughs> it's the morning. I'm currently trying to film an ad, but the ad is skincare. And my skin has just chosen today to be so finickety. And I've literally been trying this product for nearly three months before I agreed to do the ad because you never want one of those like faddy skincares that don't actually work. Like I wanted to make sure that it actually worked. So I've been trying this product for like ages and my skin has been like glowing. And I don't want to be one of those like classic influencers who's like, Oh yeah, and I've actually been like receiving so many DMs. It's like, oh my God, drop your skincare. But I have, I have, I have. But today I woke up and I don't know if it's the cheese that I ate yesterday. Can you see this rash? I think it's the cheese I ate yesterday. So I literally need to get this in by like midday. And my skin has been like, Pfft. and I know. If it's the cheese, it is my undoing. But meh. <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh, my eye twitched. Long story short, I spent ages filming an ad and then I went to edit it. Oh, where's the frickin' label? My shirt. My shirt is on inside out. And you can see, you can see the label in some of the shots. If I was a normal person who just sat very still and spoke to the camera in ads, it would be fine. But no. <laughs> and they're like waving my arms around. There's just this like tag from the inside of my shirt just like flying around. So I tried to like put the captions over it. But if you see an ad where I'm wearing my shirt inside out, just don't say anything. Are you, you're wonky. Anyway, send off the ad. And now I want a break. So I think I'm gonna go on a hot girl walk. And I thought, you know, it's April. Maybe I don't need a jumper to go on this hot girl walk. So I checked Alexa and it's seven degrees. Seven degrees. Why is it seven degrees? I shouldn't have to wear like a jumper and a coat. You no, know, this outfit doesn't match, but a lot of my jumpers are in the wash. So I went with like, it kind of matches. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's not a slay day. It's not slay. <laughs> hot girl walk. We're going on a hot girl walk. I just get so embarrassed to vlog outside. I do, I do, I do. Um, <laughs> I think you can tell. I'm just trying. Oh, I've got verbal diarrhea. Oh my God, it's better than actual diarrhea though, isn't it? I always need to take deep breaths and remind myself that nobody actually cares what I'm doing. But if I'm filming myself, and I think the issue is, is that usually, I talk to my phone and I can just, I don't know, in my head I'm like, yeah, this is fine. I can talk to my phone because people don't know if I'm, you know, on a video call or anything. So I can be very sprightly and just chatting to my phone and nobody will care because like, who's to say I'm not on a video call? And I think what I need to remind myself is that it doesn't matter what other people think because other people are not living my life. I live my life. Sunny. Hello and welcome to the hot girl walk. I think I was a bit ambitious bringing my sunglasses. The sky, there is no blue, there is no blue. I think that was one ray of sunshine when I left the house that gave me false hope. And now I'm just walking around, actually shivering a bit, quite grateful for this hot coffee. I don't know if I've actually mentioned this before, but I also have this thing on my hot girl walks where I count certain types of dogs. <laughs> So like usually it's sausage dogs and I live in southwest London so um, there is sausage dogs sausage, <laughs> sausage dogs galore and so far today I actually haven't seen one. Okay I'm back and so no sausage dogs so that's rubbish. Where is it? Oh it's here. I went into Burden Blend Notting Hill the other day and bought this tea. It is the tea and, I'm gonna have to do that really cringe thing where I put my hand behind it, there we go. It's the tea and toast, burn and blend, loose leaf tea. So it's English breakfast tea that's meant to taste like English breakfast tea plus like a sweet raspberry jam, which is either gonna be like stunning or disgusting and gross. So 
Let's put the kettle on. Right, do you think that's enough water? Ah, it'll do. It'll do. I feel like, can you even see what I'm doing? My dirty pots and pans. Right. in the tea cupboard. Ooh, she smells good. It kind of smells like Earl Grey if you replaced bergamot with raspberry. It's kind of what's occurring here. I'm going to leave that to brew for a bit before I put the plunger down, but this is what we're working with in a minute. A lot of people don't realise you can make loose leaf in a cafeteria. I did not know that was not fact, but if you're learning that today, here you go. Oh, right, what mug do I want to drink this out of? My mug tree is empty because I haven't done washing up. I'm going to have to wash my mug up. <laughs> Embarrassing! She's brewed! She's brewed! Um, a lot of people get very stressed with how I plunge the cafetiere, but honestly, it is fine. This one is always a bit fine. Oh, that like maybe I put a bit too much tea leaf in. Oh, <laughs> good tell. I feel like embarrassingly excited. Like this is the most exciting thing in my day so far. Mm, the sweet sound. Do you want to hear it? This is really random, but one time I actually did go to a tea taste test and it was like this one-on-one -on -one experience um, where this bloke taught me how to actually like properly, sorry, there was a cat hair, how to properly taste tea. So you actually have to slurp so that it comes in with air, cools it enough when you slurp and it makes it like, I don't know. He made it sound, oh my God, that smells amazing. He made it sound really technical, um, but basically you just slurp a bit. So that's why I'm slurping. It's actually very technical tea tasting. Not, I'm not just slurping, I have manners. I'm not sure about that, you know. Hang on, let me go for round two. Okay. Mm. Five or six out of ten, it's out. Oh. Hang on. So you are meant to have this with milk in. I didn't put milk in it. Let me go grab some oat milk. Okay, let's try it with some oat milk because I feel like maybe it's de it is designed to go with milk. So I usually just don't put milk in any tea that I drink. Oh, shit. Spilled it on the floor. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that is much better. Yeah, that's really nice actually, right. So, it's not one that I would have without milk, but with milk, eight out of 10. I feel like the raspberry, you either like it or you don't, because it is quite raspberry, raspberry. Sorry, I was just mopping up the tea that I spilt with my sock. That is disgusting why I admit to that on YouTube. So I spent the afternoon filming, editing, uploaded my reel, and now I've tried to implement a rule where I leave it for at least half an hour, otherwise I sit and I like, obsess over the numbers and I just like watch it. I don't know if anybody else is like this about their Instagram, but I just have like certain little rules in my head of like targets that it needs to reach by certain points. And in reality, in the bigger picture, I don't care. Like I made that content because I enjoy making it. it. Doesn't matter how many people see it. It doesn't matter how many people like it. I just need to relax and leave it. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if you know what I mean. <laughs> Maybe I'm just speaking out my ass, but yeah. I don't know, I think even if you're not like a content creator, I think there's so much pressure to like get certain amounts of likes on things and really, in reality, doesn't matter, does it? Like nobody at their funeral, well I should hope not anyway, is going to be like, oh and she got so many likes on her Instagram post on Monday the 3rd of April, you know? 
It doesn't actually matter. Sammy's vet appointment is about blah 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 blah. blah. Oh, I can't even get my words out. It's because I'm really nervy. Like, not about not about the Instagram post. I'm really nervy about Sammy's vet appointment and he's been so fine. Like, I cannot imagine that this vet is gonna say anything other than you really didn't need to bring him in, he's fine. Um I just want them to check a few other things like it's also a general like health appointment as well obviously like i'm not gonna take you to the vets with me because a that's really boring b i'm just really nervy and i just want to focus on him rather than like filming him while he probably is also a bit stressed so yeah i'm gonna nip out go to the vets hopefully everything's fine i think you can just can you tell i'm just really nervous i'm just really nervy <laughs> can you see him <laughs> ignore my messy lounge then i'm hoping we can get back from the vets around like four ish and i'll have time to like go to a cafe and get some work done for at least like an hour um after we're done at the vets fingers crossed it's like an in and out deal are you gonna be a good boy oh i burped are you gonna be a good boy oh that was disgusting hello sweetie come on then Come on then. Oh. Oh, you're a bit drunk. That was honestly one of the most anxiety inducing, awful afternoons of my life. I thought, what time did I say I was going to be home for? What time did I say I was going to be home for? Like four. Four. I thought I was going to be home for four. Do you know what time it is? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 6 10 pm. 6 10 pm i'm home over two hours what i thought it was gonna be and now i'm just curled up on the sofa watching my cat who is drunk um oh god i'm still like shaking the camera's shaking i'm gonna have to like put you down everything is fine in the consultation and then she spends ages like holding the stethoscope to his heart oh baby he's just kind of wobbling around a bit I'll give him lots of love oh sweetie you're a bit drunk my darling yeah um he just spends like she just spends ages testing his heart and oh i won't go up there in your state my darling okay it just spends ages like testing his heart i've said i said that ages now i've said that loads of times but i'm just oh i'm just really frazzled like my brain is just so frazzled anyway so she finishes up just like feeling around and she tells me Sammy has a heart murmur, which I did not know, but they just wanted to run like a bunch of tests because we don't know what's caused this heart murmur. And if it's like damage or if like something like if it's causing too much stress in his heart, like we don't want him to have a heart attack. So he's basically been for a lot of tests this afternoon and he just apparently just freaked out when he wasn't with me anymore and when he got taken into the room to like sh get shaved and like have his test done he just absolutely freaked so they had to give him some anxiety meds and bearing in mind these blood tests originally i was told they were going to take 10 minutes i just thought they were going to take him into a back room they'd do the blood test and we'd leave and i think that's what the vets thought too because he was so chill in the um like just appointment he was in there i think nearly two hours um waiting for the anxiety medication to sink in and they kept trying to you know take his bloods and stuff and that completely freaked me out do you know what it wasn't even the heart murmur like, i think the heart murmur was part of it then it was hearing that he was really freaked out it just made me feel awful and i just wanted to be in there with him so i was in the waiting room and i think i managed maybe like 10 minutes and i sat and i'd taken a book because sometimes vet appointments they don't even want to take you in there so i knew that i might have a little bit of waiting um like before before and during but i was sat reading my book that I brought with me and I just couldn't that I really just I couldn't even read that I was so freaked at this idea that he was in like the next room and he was freaking out um and I think because I was alone as well you know when you're alone and every single thought just feels so much worse than it actually is and I was just so panicked because I have no idea what heart murmur is like I actually just don't know and I'd, you'd never know how serious it is that could mean like a tiny little mm, or it could mean like a mm, like you oh, you just don't know and I guess this is what all the tests are for but yeah, basically they couldn't even complete all the tests. So I picked him up at about half five-ish. Bear in mind he went in there at half three. 
bless him. So I think he's been through quite a traumatic afternoon. And now because he's had the anxiety meds, he's quite drunk. But obviously they couldn't finish the test. So we're back in at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, bless him. Oh, I just can't even... I just know how stressed you'll have been today. Another anxiety medication tonight, tomorrow morning, and then some numbing cream to get him all ready because he's got little shaved patches for um, where they were trying to take blood. But yeah, what an awful afternoon. Yeah, that's where we're at. It's obviously like not great news that he has a heart murmur, but I'm just glad that we've caught it now. And then if it is something that needs to be like treated, we can sort it. But yeah, just not fun, not fun. He is my little boy and <sighs> not a fun afternoon. Oops, look at little boy. Oh, look at him. I'm at the computer because I'm really trying to get some work done. I really wanted to get some work done today after I got back from the vets and I just can't. And it feels so dramatic. Like it feels so dramatic just be like, yeah, well my cat has a heart murmur and he has to have some blood tests. So I can't get any work done. Yeah, like sorry I haven't finished the work, I promise I'd get in by the uh, end of last week. Because I left it to do until today and then my, my cat has a heart murmur. <laughs> You're probably wondering, Katie, why is your face pink? Well, I'll tell you for why my face is pink. When I was sobbing outside of the vet, it was very sunny. And now I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder. I am sunburnt. But we have more important things to think about. So the vet sent me back with um, an anxiety pill to give to Sam Sam. So we have two anxiety pills and then um, this, <laughs> this gold easy pill. So apparently um, it's meant to be a bit like Play-Doh and it's like chicken, I don't know, chicken cat shite um, that goes around the pill and makes it so that cats will taste it. Apparently we need to try and feed Sammy some of this without the pill in it, see if he likes it. If he does like it, then we need to put one of his high, that literally droogs, put one of his droogs in it and then he'll eat it. So that's the master plan. He was sat on my knee, but then I started talking loud. So he ran away. I have grabbed a Sam Sam. What do you think about the smell of this? What do you think? Do you like it? That is not hurtful, pals. That is not hurtful. You want some? You want some? We need to put in it a pill and save some for tomorrow as well. Don't see this bit. This is actually part of my mastermind plan, mate. Yeah, yeah, just be oblivious, bibs. Will you just eat it? Oh, no, he spat it out. <laughs> that was very optimistic. The easy pill, and I'm just gonna squish the pill into it like Play-Doh. And then we have a ball. <laughs> yeah, do you want it? Oh, you spat it out. Go on. I think that's that was that was fine. Right, I'm actually gonna store the rest of this easy pill in the pill bottle. That was so helpful. I need to remember to thank the vets for that. That made that so easy. Yeah, you're a sucker. Right, anyway, <laughs> that is the conclusion to the day. My sunburn and shammy, who is now gonna be absolutely off his rocker again. Oh, look at his little face. So let me know if you did enjoy the vlog. I'm so sorry that it took a really sad turn and hopefully if we vlog again we will not run into the same bad luck that we did today because that was just a bit god awful wasn't it? But I'm gonna get myself to bed, see it as a reset. Tomorrow morning we've got spin class and then I'm taking him to the vet. 
So I'll keep you updated over on Instagram how he is doing. Um, hopefully fine. And see you next week. I'm hoping to do a little weekly vlog. Just like vlog maybe one day a week. If you like it. If you're enjoying watching them. If not, tough. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye.